Hey guys, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to create individual faux locks. So, if you like what you see, stay tuned and I'll show you what you're looking for. I'm starting to believe that I'm way too much for you. All I talk but it seems like it can't come through. So let's begin with supplies. I use Molly hair which is on the left side and some individual crochet hair which is on the right side. I use my Bomba dreads. They're really light and fluffy so I like those. Um, five packs of each is just fine but I bought eight packs each to be on the safe side. So when you begin to install you're going to need to start off with the faux lock Molly hair Bomba dreads. So, of course, you're going to need a crochet hook because this is a crochet individual faux lock tutorial. And I'm showing you here how I applied my faux locks individually. Now, this is my homegirl EJ actually um, doing my hair. And I had the pleasure of sitting down getting my hair done this time. And what she's doing is wrapping the Marley hair, I mean the crochet hair, around the braid. So you're going to open and twist and wrap it around the hair to enclose your single braid. So of course, do a whole bunch of single braids first and then come in and add the individual faux locks. So I know that was kind of fast, so I'm going to slow it down for you ladies. You're going to get your crochet needle, push it on a downward motion through your root. Get your crochet molly hair, and you see that opening right there? You're gonna open it up and latch it onto your crochet needle. Once it's latched on, you're gonna close the latch or hook and pull it up halfway. Go ahead and take it out. Now you're gonna open up that hole. So it's gonna go in here and open up that hole and put the other end of the crochet hair through the loop like so. Go ahead and push it in towards your root area. So she's going to pull on this hair so it's nice and snug towards the root area. There she goes, pulling. Boom. There's a knot right there at the root. Not too tight, but just firm enough where it's secure. Here's a very important part. You want to uncoil your individual faux lock. You uncoil it, and then you wrap that uncoiled part nice and flat around your hair. So as you uncoil, make sure it is nice and flat and wrap it around your individual braid. The process is quite simple. You uncoil, wrap it around your braid, and then work your way down. You uncoil, wrap it around your braid, work your way down. And that's what she's doing, uncoiling it, wrapping it around the braid. Uncoiling it, wrapping it around. Now you gotta make sure it's nice and flat as you do so. And don't rush it, you just take your time so you don't have any of your real braid showing. Work it all the way down till you get to the end. So of course, the shorter your hair is, the faster you'll be done, and the longer your hair is, the longer it might take. But still, it's a lot shorter than doing real, real faux locks. Um, and they're really, really light. I love how natural they look um, and if you want to make it nice and neat just palm roll it to just make it all mesh together. So yes these faux locks are ponytail approved okay because they are not corn rolled in they are individuals. You can do half up half down. The styling is limitless. So I love that about these individual faux locks. I 
Fast forwarding to the front part of my head. We are almost done. Two more to go. I'm latching. I said I'm. She's latching it on. And she's doing the same thing as the back. Pulling it through. Pulling that knot to the root. And wrapping around my individual hair. And check out her nails, y'all. Those are her real nails. Like, they're so strong and long. Girls, I wish my nails would grow that long. They always are just always breaking and crap. But uh, shout out to your nails, EJ, one time. Yes, girl. Yeah, for the long nails. Natural. And she's just wrapping it all the way down to the end of my hair. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but at the root, it's a bit bulgy to me. So we're going to go in with the Molly hair to disguise that root look to make it look more natural. Yes, we are done. And this is just five packs or six packs of um, individual crochet faux locks. Like, that's a lot of hair. So I don't think y'all should use the whole eight packs. And I should have did my parting a lot bigger I'm in the front because this is even too much to me. But here we are the next day. Um, I told her that I was not feeling my roots. Like, those roots were looking so... I could tell that it was some kind of crochet going on because of the bulge. If you look closely, you can see. So with this Marley hair, it's going to disguise it. It's going to give it that real authentic, bomba, you know, dread-looking style we're going for. You only need a small piece. You're going to go ahead and feather it out, cut it like so, and um, hold it towards your root area. A little, leave a little piece at the bottom and then a long piece up top. So that's what she's going to do. She's going to go ahead. I'm, I'm mad. I don't know what you're talking about, but it was funny. You're going to go ahead. Oh, okay, look. Can we start? What am I talking about? Hold the hair, feather it out, and then you go ahead and put that end part at the root area and then go ahead and wrap it up like so. Now this molly has a bit long. It does not need to be this long. You can cut it a lot shorter because you just want to disguise the root area. But anyways, you just keep wrapping it like so and just take it all the way down. So like probably, I'll show you where to stop. Keep going, keep going. Now that's why the hair shouldn't be as long as this because like, we could actually stop right here if the piece was a lot shorter. But just right there. And you see how natural it looks now? From the root to the end, it looks real natural. But we're taking it all the way down because she took a really long piece. But you can definitely make your piece a lot shorter to make it a lot faster. But it doesn't really matter. Whatever, whatever. And then what you're going to need to do is get some nail glue. And, oh, that's probably why she made it that long. Because my real hair is there. No? Because the nail glue's not going to touch your real hair. Anyway, put your nail glue on the hair. On the Marley hair. And just roll it in so that way it won't come loose now I did it on only my hairline area only you can do it on all your um, locks um, but I did it on my hairline area only for this um, specific install now if I was to do it for my client I'll probably do the whole individual route because I want everything to look natural um, but you got to be very careful when taking these out and to not cut your real hair. I would say make sure you go to a professional stylist to do the takedown to ensure you don't cut your real hair. But yes, just wrap it around the root area and work it all the way down. Now the Marley hair may look kind of skinnier than the end part of your um, crochet hair, but that's just because it's new and fresh. Give it about a week to two weeks and it's going to kind of expand on its own. So don't worry about that. Give it like a, three days to a week and it's going to expand and just mesh and merge in with your uh, crochet faux locks. Now we're going to put some little designs in this thing because it's looking kind of boring right now. We don't do boring, we do flashy. So we're adding some regular thread. You can get this from Joann's or Walmart, any fabric store. And just cut two strings off and do some, you know, little crisscrosses, you know. And try to make it look cute, you know, just a little bit.
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie a knot at the back of this dread. And then once the knot is tied like that, boom, you're gonna go ahead and crisscross back and forth downward along your faux lock. Ain't that so pretty? And you can choose any kind of color you want. Man, you don't have to be specific. But I just love how this looks. I'm gonna work it all the way down. And I did add some gold little um, clips or gold little hair designs on my hair as well. I don't know what they're called. Once you get to almost the end of the hair, you can go ahead and tie a knot and cut off the excess string. And then um, put some glue. Nail glue again. Here we go with the nail glue. Just to lock it in place because you don't want your um, cute designs coming out. And just roll it in. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. As always, you know the drill. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on my Instagram at Revamp Studio Salon. Peace.